first option under courses is to add or edit courses. In fact, you can also add categories here. These categories can be edited, deleted and hidden and reordered so that they appear in the correct sequence on your front page. The course default settings are worth spending some time on because these will be the settings in place for every new course on your site. So you can choose between a weekly or perhaps topic based format, you can control the number of weeks and whether hidden sections are shown. Also the number of news items and whether students can see activity reports. There's a really important setting as well about the maximum file upload size. Do remember that these settings are just the defaults so you should be picking things that apply to most courses or for most teachers. The lower settings on this page are also quite important. You have the option to set groups and perhaps force those. This is unlikely on a larger Moodle site. You can set the availability of courses so that when they're first created they're actually hidden. You can force languages on courses and as an administrator you can enable completion tracking as default although any of these settings teachers can change themselves. The course request option allows administrators to enable teachers to make requests for new courses. You can also set the default category that these new courses will be placed in and who actually gets the confirmation to approve them. Under backups we have the general backup defaults. This is where the administrator can set the type of information that will be included in each backup, including advanced features like anonymizing information. There are two important settings towards the bottom of this page. Including logs and including histories within backup files will greatly increase the size of the backup file. If you're struggling for server space, definitely don't want to do this. We recommend that unless you definitely need this information in your backup files, leave these unselected. The settings for automated backups are very important for administrators to be aware of. Your backup system should be enabled and you can choose which days backups are performed and at what time. Usually this will be overnight when the server isn't busy. There is a default area to save backup files to but you can specify your own and indeed how many backups are kept. Further options for the default backups can be set including whether user files are included and again whether the logs and the histories are included. 